Hey trail riders, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the daily ride. Today we're going to be wrapping up the a good week. We're going to hit verses 9 and 10 of chapter 3 of the book of 1 Samuel. So let's just dive right in. Verses 9 and 10. So Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be that if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and laid down in his place, and the Lord came and stood and called as the previous time, Samuel, Samuel. And then Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Pretty much the, the primary message that I want us to get this week in these five messages that we've talked about from first chap, chapter 3, verses 1, and now we're at verse 10, is are we listening to what God has to say? Are we in tune with what, what the direction God wants us to go? There may be somebody at Walmart that may need some, some, a word from us, and God gives us that word to say. Are we in tune? Are we tuned in to God's frequency that we hear when He calls us? If He wants... I, I remember God calling me into the ministry, and I spent five years running from that call because of some of the things that I had seen I, my stepdad was a pastor and he uh, had an affair with a woman that he was counseling with at, at the church and one thing led to another my mom and he divorced and now he's married to this woman and I did and several men over the course of that time frame there was some 27 28 years ago when God began 30 years ago when God began to work on my heart because he wanted me to be a pastor. And I spent five years running, but after at the age of 30 in my front yard, I surrendered to the ministry. I was tuned in to what God was saying to me. And I, the call was still the same for after five years. But they, here's, a, here's, here's the thing. Are we listening to what God has to say? Are we doing what God's asking us to do? Are we going where God's asking us to go? That's a question only that you can answer. We have God talking to us as individuals. We have God talking to us as families. And we have God talking to us as church families. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your family's life. And God has a plan for your church life. You have a destiny. Are you willing and ready to step into the destiny God has set for you? I hope so. I hope these passages are encouraging you. God's work is always good. It always bring, There's always benefits they go with it. Walking as a child of God, the benefits are out of this world. We have a good God who loves us so very much and wants us to share His love with others. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank You for this day. We thank You for this message that we have gotten this week and this story as it continues to unfold in the life of young Samuel. Father, I pray that you will again just open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts so that we can receive from you, so that we can feel your presence in our lives, and so that as we travel through this world and we go the directions that we, that we have in our routine lives, people can feel your presence. Father, we love you, we need you, we stand in need of your touch. And we're nothing without you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me here on The Daily Ride. I hope you'll continually follow me. And I hope you will keep riding.